Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl London, and I'm back again with another video. This video is all about me installing a lace frontal unit that I made on my little sister. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, and if you're an old subscriber, welcome back. Like, I want y'all to see how natural this looks. Like, is she born with it? Or is this a lace front foot? Y'all tell me. Right now I'm just braiding her hair. Her hair is actually shaped in the back, so if you see me stopping halfway, that's why. So I'm not braiding these braids in any particular way, I actually rush these braids. But you just may want to make sure that your braids are flat so the wig can lay flat and look natural as possible. So right now we're applying the stocking cap onto the head. Um, I like to put the got to be glue gel on top of the stocking cap so it can soak through the cap and actually adhere onto the skin. So I like to put at least two layers on and then blow dry it. When you're blow drying, make sure it's completely dry or the cap's going to lift up. So it usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes for everything to be completely dry. So now that the cap is dry, I cut off the excess material. And I cut around the hairline, make sure you don't cut too close or you might cut off the actual edges. So I just make sure I cut as close as I can to where it's still there. To make everything look more realistic, I like to add a foundation, either the actual skin tone or a shade lighter, and it just gives it a more flawless look when you part the lace frontal, and it makes it look like it's actually your scalp. So what I did was use alcohol to wipe around the hairline and it's really recommended that you use like 70% and above so you really clean the surface of the hair and that's what helps the lace frontal last and stick on for a long time. So I'm just applying the lace frontal onto her forehead and before you can get it perfect you got to do a lot of adjustments a lot of plucking so just be ready okay so right now you're seeing me cut off all the extra lace because this lace unit was actually old and we're just revamping it so we're just taking off all the extra lace so it could fit more natural to her hair line
so I just flip the unit backwards so everything's out the way so when I apply the gel the hair doesn't get stuck to the gel and the gel that I'm using is the got to be blue gel and I use the black kind and I also followed up with the spray these two work so amazing together you have a long lasting hold with this So I'm blow drying the glue on cool just so it can get nice and tacky. You want to make sure you monitor it because if you let it dry, it's not going to stick. So you have to make sure it's just in the middle where it's tacky and sticky so you can put the lace down. You want to make sure you really lay that lace into the glue so they're really melted on to each other. So it can be as flat as possible so when you put the baby hairs on, it looks really natural. So I trimmed the baby hair a little bit, not too much, and you want to make sure it's the perfect length. If it's too short, it's not going to look good. If it's too long, it's really not going to look good, so you got to do it in the middle. Then I'm just applying edge control, and I'm just swooping the baby hairs onto the lace and into the rest of the hair. Another tip to make your lace look really natural is actually tinting the lace if you're more of a darker skin or a brown skin tone. It just makes everything better. We didn't do that for the video because we didn't have time. We just wanted to record it. But you could also use a powder foundation or liquid foundation to make sure that the lace really blends with your skin.
know you guys are going to kill me for this part, but we're actually cutting this unit. As I said, this unit is fairly old and we just wanted to revamp it, so we're cutting it into like a messy bob. You know, it's not blunt, it's not perfect, it's just a little curly messy bob. So I'm just continuing to cut around the back and the sides. As I said again, this cut is not perfect. Look at the scissors I'm using. Like <laughs> So this part of the video should get her makeup done so you could say this is a full transformation video. And everything's really self-explanatory, it's nothing that you haven't seen before so I won't be explaining it. But if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, you are the realest. And I just want to say, if you're new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because it's free girl. And if you're old, thank you for coming with me on this journey on my YouTube channel. You guys are the best and helping me grow and get better. And don't forget to leave any ideas that you want me to do in the comment section because I'm always open to doing different videos and just listening to other people's ideas. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I have a personal page and a hair page. My personal page is underscore London Chanel and my style page is styled by London underscore also the hair provided in this video is from London's hair shop dot bigcartel.com and yes it's my own hairline that I launched a while ago and I'm not going to chew my own horn but I do have the best hair so if you guys want to check it out I do have discounts going on and just enjoy Thank you.